Welcome, viewers. You're watching the Peanut Gallery here on EHCWire.com. I'm Darren Vaught. I'm joined today by these two bumpkins, Logan Nestor, Austin Bunn. They're going to have at it and talk SGA candidacies and the presidential and vice presidential elections that are going on here at Emory and Henry College in just a moment. But, gentlemen, first topic of the day. My name starts with a D, so I proclaim the letter of the day to be D. Name your five favorite things that start with the letter D right now. Austin. Dog. Dad. Donuts. Number four. All right, I'm going to cut you off right there. Darren. Yes. Darren. Suck <laughs> Darren. God, I'm good. Oh, I got, I got number four. Number four and five. Drew. All right. Okay. Then Darren. You made top five. All right, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Four and five. Yeah, as the mediator, I'm just. Playing to the judges. Playing to the judges. No, you can. You gotta have That's four and five. Oh, four and five. Yeah. Oh. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go with Drew because you know he's coming back later right, on okay. the show for sports okay. and dunking. I love to see a good dunk. All right. Ooh. Excellent. Like Excellent. So, gentlemen, should we talk student government association elections here at Emory and Henry College? Are we ready? Good to go. Absolutely. Hit. Good to go. Okay. So we know the three tickets. Uh, ticket number one: Mark Robertson, Yancey Wilmoth. Ticket number two, Tessa Burton, Kenton Williams. Ticket number three, Race Lamb, Ashley Ebersole. Give me your favorite, just from a before any debate ever happened, perceptual standpoint, who do you like right off the bat? Austin. Uh, I like Mark and Yancey, personally, just because I see the two of them more around campus and what they're doing. And I, 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 can, I know them more. Because, like, Mark's involved with, now granted, he is a mass comm major, so obviously been in the major. You do see those people more. But I feel like I see them, and I feel like they're more talkative to especially, like, the freshmen and that kind of thing. So I, I really. So really that means like a lot to you as a freshman oh, yeah. in your first year here at Emory and Henry, someone who has reached out to you and connected with you personally. Oh, yeah. Okay, Logan, what about you? Uh, uh, it, it would be close just before uh, the debate started. It would be close between Mark Robertson, uh, the Mark Robertson Yancey ticket, and the uh, Ray Slam Ashley Ebersole ticket for the simple fact that, you know, I want somebody running the student government who's going to, you know, put forth a lot of effort, and I've seen a website and a Facebook page out of those two. And Tess Burton, Kent Williams, I don't have a lot of doubts about their ability to do stuff, but I haven't seen the Facebook page, the website. I don't know what they're running on before we get to the debates. And that being said, that I'd give also the slight edge to the Mark Robertson uh, Yancey Wilmoth, Wilmoth ticket for the simple fact that uh, I've seen Mark Robertson run the White Topper, and I don't know what I've seen Race Lamb run or be in charge. Okay, so let's talk. Uh, let's talk about experience. This is okay because this shows me that obviously experience not a top priority for either of you guys because you look at Tessa and Kenton, both involved in student government. Tessa's the Senate clerk, uh, Kenton a senator in his own right. Okay, How much does that mean to you guys? It means quite a bit to me. Uh, not their experience leading in general, but their experience in student government already. Just because, you know, Tessa and Kenton, people like that who have been had Senate seats and been involved with Senate before, which uh, has, have any of the other candidates, have they ever been involved with Senate? I, I, if they have, I'm not aware of it. Has uh, Mark Robertson ever held a Senate seat? No, not a Senate seat, but Mark has been on the SGA cabinet for the past two years as a public relations uh, officer. Yeah, right. Okay, so those three right there are the only ones I know of with SGA uh, experience, and I think that SGA experience allows you to hit the ground running. If, you, if you're learning procedure, then you're not accomplishing things. If you know procedure, you're accomplishing things first day instead of third day after you learn procedure. And that's what I really like about the experience in. And that's where I would give the edge to Tessa Burton and Kenton because there's two people on the same ticket with SGA experience. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to agree with Logan. I'm not one, obviously, to go on just experience. I think that experience does play a part, but you also need to look at what else they do because what it comes down to is how active are they and are they, for lack of a better term, a go-getter. But clearly both of those two pairs are. I mean, Tessa, I've, I've met Tessa when I came to a uh, athletic event 
during my senior year as the winner of my senior year. And I remembered her just because of the impact and how she handled herself. So she's one that has shown that on stuff like that, she can really address and both of them play sports. So the edge definitely, in terms of experience, swings way their way. There's there's no other pair that you could say has any more experience than those two combined. But I, Mark, I don't know about experience in general, but SGA experience. Well, yeah, because, yeah, that's, because that's I'm not going to sell short Mark Robertson been running the white top, which is very hectic. And I mean, you know, uh, a desirable job in some senses, like because it looks good. But I mean, you're not going to be a you're not going to be a slack and run the white topper. And so I like I like that about him. And uh, you know, and Ray Slam and Ashley Ebersol, I mean, they've been involved on campus. I mean, they're not uninvolved. No, they're they're crazily involved right. race in uh, I just don't know what they've been in charge of. Ashley is an athletic training major, so you know that she can manage yeah. her time well. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm impressed with you know the candidates this year. All of them seem. I don't think any of them is a bad fit for it. It's just kind of going to come down to who can show what they want to do, get elected, and then hopefully get it done. Because that's the thing. You've got to vote for who you think. While they may say what they're going to do, you've got to vote for those people that you think can do it. And obviously we've seen, as we mentioned many times, Mark and the White Topper. I think all three of us have been in the White Topper office at some point and seen how crazy that can be. And Mark tends to be very level-headed during those hectic situations when stories aren't coming in and was able to handle that. So in terms of stuff like that, that's, that's really impressive. All right, so let's move on. Um, from a personal standpoint, what do you want to see presented on a tickets platform? What do you want to see changed or improved at Emory and Henry College? Um, today at the debates, you, I think the golden word of the debates was benches. Everyone wants to get a bench built. And, you know, and the student government, uh, you know, we're just freshmen. We're, we're definitely in college mode now, but, you know, we're not so far removed from high school that we don't remember high school. In high school, student government is a front. You don't do anything. In college, you definitely do do more. You're, I mean, you're involved. They do do things. But they're not going to determine our tuition or anything like that. They're not going to – there's going to be nothing that they determine that's going to change our lives. So I really – like the Mark Robertson ticket is really talking about um, – improving student life with, uh, you know, campus improvements and things like that. Uh, I think their campaign slogan is, let our vision become your legacy. And then, and I like that better than, say, the Ray Slam ticket, which they're really building on EHC Swarm and bringing the community and students to sporting events. You know, I can go to a sporting event if I want to anyway. And people from the community can come in. And I don't play sports, personally. so. If there's 10 more people from the community at a softball game, that doesn't matter to me. So as far as that goes, I'm going to have to go with a Robertson ticket. Austin, if it's me, what I want on a ticket is I want somebody who's going to, or not somebody, but I want them to do something that, as Logan said, we're here for at least probably three more years, maybe four, depending on you know how fast we can get our classes done if we want to go farther. But we're in here for the long haul. So we need somebody that's going to make our college experience better going forward. And as Logan said, with the sporting events, it's like you said, you can go to those when you want. I don't think that's going to make our college experience any, say, better than if we necessarily didn't go to all the sporting events. I mean, yeah, we go to some. We go to a lot. We're very big into sports. So we do go. I mean, I've been to probably at least one of every sports thing this year. So it's not that. But as he said, with Mark and Yancey, they seem to really be pushing for more something that's going to benefit not just the athletes, which there are a lot here, as we know of, but it's going to benefit everyone. And then on the, the Burton ticket, Tessa Burton, Kenton Williams ticket, uh, they talked a lot about being open to student suggestions, which I really like. I think that that's a big thing for SGA, especially the SGA president. You know, because you're going to be mid-year and students are going to want things. And you need to be open to that. But at the same time, just, just like a big presidential election uh, for the United States, everyone comes in with something they want to do. Like, uh, just because it's an easy example because he's in right now, President Obama, he came in and he was going to hammer Obamacare. Like, and he was going to get that accomplished and he comes in and you start working on that. 
and then you adapt to other things that come along otherwise. And I didn't see that out of the Burton ticket, something that they want to do right off the bat. And I did see that off the, the Robertson ticket and then the Lamb ticket. That something that they want to accomplish, just they said, hey, I want to accomplish this. We'll listen to you too, but I want to accomplish this. Okay, so you guys both spoke to uh, specifics from each campaign, each platform. The question was, you personally, what do you want to see change? Austin. Uh, what I want to see change is, and this is just one of my pet peeves, is there are signs in front of all the buildings on campus that say no smoking within however many feet it is. 20, 25, right. So, but, I mean, you come out of MS, you walk by MS, it's five feet from the door, and there's somebody, or usually a group, smoking a cigarette. And I'm not saying I have something against smokers. I have a lot of friends that smoke. There's nothing. That's your choice. However, for those of us who don't, it can be kind of, it, it takes you off of, say, your game. Because I know, you know, for me, I have to really, when I go to class, that's what I'm thinking about. And when you go through that, you're like, ah, smoking and then the things there. And then, I mean, you may even smell like smoke and just stuff like, little things like that. Because if you can change the little things, those are going to lead to the big things. So that's that's one thing I really want to see somebody come out and say we're going to start enforcing this. All right, Logan? I want to see changed and with whoever gets in I want to see them speak to the faculty about this because that's the one thing they can do about this is I want to see extended hours on several things like I'm an honors student I'm supposed to have 24 access 24 hour access to the honors lounge here in the bottom floor of Miller well, if somebody comes and locks the doors at 12, how do I have 24-hour access if they lock the doors at 12? All right, and then in the King Center, the, the, they lock up the King Center at 10. I, I can't, I mean, and I understand the safety issue. I do understand that. But we're all adults here, and I can't go run on an elliptical. I can't bench press. I can't play basketball in the King Center. We can't bench press anyway. Well, this is true. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I get a bar up every now and then, <laughs> but uh, every now and then. <laughs> but uh, I, I can't play basketball after 10 o'clock in the King Center. And so I, I want to see some hours change. That's one of my big pet peeves. And the one, like I said, the one that really gets to me is I don't have 24-hour access if you lock the door at 12. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So we've talked about it, hashed things out. I like this discussion we're having. Final thoughts. Now that you're you know, on, on camera with this, you're willing to tell me. Uh, who are you guys going to vote for for your Emory and Henry SGA president and vice president, or have you made up your mind yet? My mind is not totally made up. However, if you handed me a ticket right now, I'm voting Mark and Yancey just for the basic fact that I've told you that I do know them, I've talked to them, and I really like their platform. With Tessa and Kenton coming in at a very close second, I think those, either one of those is probably the front runners. But the edge right now is Mark and Yancey. You know, I, right now I'm giving a slight edge to Mark and Yancey. One, because I like the experience, but then they've also shown a platform. And so that's my first choice right now. Then my second choice is going to be the Tess Burton Kenton ticket because I really like their experience. And I hate to say this for the Lamb ticket because. You know, they've really put forth some effort. I've said what the EHC Swarm is, but I just I don't like that idea, personally. And giving me an idea has hurt them. So right now, Tessa Burton and Kenton Williams are the only ones who can touch the Robertson ticket for me because if they give me an idea that blows me away, I could be persuaded to vote for them. Whereas the Lamb ticket, they're already on the back burner for me. So right as of right now, I would say, you know, Lamb's out for me, and if I can get something good off the Burton ticket, I could be persuaded. All right, so that's a good start. Good start to the show, guys. The peanut gallery, Austin, Logan, if these two compiled your student body, Mark and Yancey would be your president and vice president. Unfortunately, there are about 998 other students at the college, unfortunately for them, unfortunately for Mark, or fortunately for Mark and Yancey. Fortunately but, uh, for everyone, there are 998 people. That, <laughs> yeah, we can come to a consensus there. I'm going to send these two idiots to uh, Drew Piscopo for sports, something they think they know a lot about here in just a minute. <laughs>